people of our state can do anything that they have the vision and desire to do. And that is because we are strong people and we are strong because we remember and we remember because we are strong. And I got to say, um, speaking of strong people, y'all remember Muhammad Ali, Come on. the great, great boxer? Yes. A uh, young fellow once said, uh, he says, Champ, didn't you get knocked down one time in a fight? He says, Son, I've never been knocked down. I'm either up or getting up. <laughs> I think that's the right attitude. And when it comes to determination, vision, I've got to say, Joe Riley, you're one in a million. And I yeah. think and purchase and I'll do for that. So thank you. I've only got a few seconds. The First Lady Peggy and I have to go back to Columbia, but we did not want to miss this event. This is historic in many different ways. It involves telling the truth. Though I believe that the only truth, the only bad truth, is a half truth. And this monument, this museum, this experience, this that we're doing today is going to tell the whole story. And the whole story is one of strength and determination and it speaks so well for the people of South Carolina. One final point, I, in this position, I get to talk to people from all over the world, Congressman, and they say the same thing that I hear you say. They say the people of South Carolina, they're great people all over the country, but the people in South Carolina have a little bit different. They are strong. When they give their word, they keep it. They're determined, they're smart, and they've never made a, met a stranger. This that we're doing today is a spectacular thing, not only for Charleston, which is a jewel and monument in itself, not only for South Carolina, but for this country and for the world. So on behalf, as your governor, and on behalf of five million proud, happy South Carolinians, Thank you so much for doing this and many congratulations. Thank you.